So I'm noticing that some people seem to have a problem with boxing fans and members of the LDBC asking Lomachenko to rematch Alito and just avenge the loss and get it over with so that we don't have to talk about it anymore. This is written off as hatred. We're hating on Lomachenko because we want him to avenge a loss. To clean that up so that it doesn't come back to bite him in the ass later. If anything, that's looking out for the man. We're not asking Lomachenko to do anything that hasn't been done before. Fighters of the past have fought in rematches to avenge their losses. Some of them succeeded and some of them failed again. You look at Muhammad Ali, for example. He lost to Leon Spinks, a guy who was very young in his heavyweight career. He fought him the next fight and beat him in the rematch to become the three-time heavyweight champion, the first one in history. This is what fighters do. Shane Mosley, when he lost to Vernon Forrest, he tried to avenge that loss. He failed, but he tried. I think he did better in the second fight. Same thing when he fought Winky Wright. He lost to him. He tried to avenge the loss, and unfortunately, he failed again. But at least he tried. This is nothing that hasn't been done before. I don't understand what the big damn deal is. How do we hate a fighter because we're asking him to clean up a loss? Lennox Lewis against Rockman. Lennox Lewis got knocked out in the first fight. He came back, knocked Rockman out in the second fight, in the rematch, avenged the loss. You could look at a guy like Floyd Mayweather, for example. Many people felt that he lost to Castillo. And he rematched him and he beat him clearly the second time. Same thing when he fought Marcos Madonna. People said, hey, Marcos Madonna won that fight. Or some people said it was a draw. It was too close. So he came back in the rematch and he beat him more clearly the second time. What is the big damn deal with asking Lomachenko to do the same thing, to do what fighters do. Maybe it won't come back and bite him in the ass if he doesn't rematch the guy. If he continues to excel in the sport, he continues to look good, maybe it won't come back to bite him in the ass. Maybe people will forget about that loss. Maybe people will let it go because it was his first fight. But why take that risk? Why not just get him while he's still here? He's not retired yet. Go ahead and knock him off because I believe that he can beat him in the rematch. I believe that he's improved since that fight. He's been in there with some great competition since that fight. So nobody's asking him to rematch Salido because we feel like he's going to get his ass whipped again. That's not the reason. It's just avenging the loss. This is something that is in his reach right now. He should just do it and get it out the way. Why am I a hater for saying that? Why do you think that I hate Lomachenko for saying that? Or anybody for that matter who says that? Didn't we ask Adrian Broner to do the same thing with Marcos Madonna? Unfortunately, that never happened because he got that fight stolen from him from Big Bro. That's what he wanted to do. Now, I was one of the guys who said that I didn't think that he should do it immediately. I thought that he should take a couple of fights at 147 and kind of feel more comfortable at that weight class before jumping in there with uh, Madonna in a rematch. But still, it was something that he wanted to do. He wanted to avenge that loss. This is natural. This is boxing. But you guys are so desperate for us to hate Lomachenko that you'll just find any old thing to say that we're hating him. And it's sad, man. It really is. You guys don't want us to be fans of Lomachenko because that doesn't benefit you guys. You would have nothing to argue with us about because that's what the whole thing is about. You just want to cry racism and you want to argue with us about shit that's not even there. Nobody is hating on Lomachenko. You know, I listened to these videos from brothers in the LDBC, just like Blood Boxing said yesterday in his video. They all had nothing but great things to say about Lomachenko. And what these guys on the other side, what they do is they listen to this. And while we're giving 
Lomachenko props. They're saying, oh, well, they're just saying that because they don't want to appear to be racist. They're trying to hide their racism by saying good things about Lomachenko. But look at them. You can see that they're racist because they're asking him to rematch Alito. It's just desperate what you guys are doing. Let us be fans of Lomachenko. Is that okay with you guys? Is that all right? Because I know some of you who are listening to this are saying that I'm only saying this so that I don't look like a racist. I, I understand that. I understand why you need that. But you need to knock it off. There's nobody hating on Lomachenko by asking him to do what fighters do. If I was a fighter, I would not feel comfortable with the guy walking around saying that he beat me. And I never tried to get no get back on that. Maybe Lomachenko doesn't think it's going to be a big deal. Maybe it won't be a big deal, like I said before, but maybe it will. And I think that uh, Salido is not the guy to walk around with the defeat. <laughs> you know, like, you don't want that guy on your resume as beating you when you're Lomachenko and you didn't get your revenge. So I think that he should try to get that rematch before Salido retires, before he gets too old. And just get it out of the way. Then it'll be all forgotten about. We won't even look at it as a big deal anymore after that. It was his first fight, whatever. Is there a reason why you guys don't want that rematch? And don't get me wrong, some people are saying, well, you know what, it's, it's just the match we're really not interested in. We really don't want to see that match. We want to see him fight better fights. Okay, I mean, that's fine. But that's not everybody. Some people want to see him beat Salido because they feel that he can do it now and clean up that loss. Stop with your desperation on, on getting us to hate all of these fighters, man. Nobody hates Lomachenko. Okay, and I think that out of all the Eastern European fighters that are being hyped up by these American boxing fans, I believe that Lomachenko is the best out of all of them. I think that he's better than um, Kovalev, not as far as accomplishments, okay? This is purely the eye test, which really counts for nothing. But just based off of the eye test, I feel like he's better than um, the rest of them. Golovkin. Kovalev, and all the rest of them guys, man. But I know you guys are going to continue to call us haters and, and, and nitpick on every little thing that we say about uh, Lomachenko. You can say, you can make a video where you say 98% great things about the guy. If you just say one thing, it will erase all the great things that you said about him. You know, that's how sad and ridiculous this shit has gotten. But I'm not going to fall for it, man. I'm going to judge Lomachenko based off of what he does in his career. And that's it. That's it. I'm not going to pay these guys no attention, man, because it's clear that all they want to do is argue, bicker, complain. That's all they want to do. And talk about what everybody else is talking about on their channels. That's all they want to do.